Hey, I'm Stephen Boatwright, the project manager of University of South Alabama's Design Build Fly Team for 2020-2021. Team name, Century Overload. Hi, my name is John Hamilton. I'm the structures lead on the team. Through brainstorming ideas, we came up with a sexagon shaped fuselage to hold as many sensors as we could. So we made a plug out of foam. Then we made a mold out of that plug. From that, plug, from that mold, we made this carbon fiber fuselage. It's completely hollow down the middle. No ribs, no stringers, no nothing. So for the wing, our constraints were a five-foot maximum wingspan. So we decided to go ahead and push it to the, the maximum five-foot wingspan. We used a Clark Y airfoil. The empty weight of the plane was seven and a half pounds. And when we put the payout mechanism with the reel and, and the wire, it, the all-up weight with the payout mechanism was nine and a quarter pounds. Hi, I'm Kobe Harwell. I'm the proportions lead for the design build fly team. For our proportion system, we use static thrust tests to determine the best motor and prop combination shown here that would better carry the weight of the plane and fly as fast as possible to give us the best performance in flight. For the battery, we're restricted to a battery size less than 100 watt hours, so we chose a six cell LiPo that powered the plane and exceeded our expectations. Hey, my name is Matthew Johnson and I'm the electronic specialist for the team. Uh, my main duties were uh, finding the electronics for the sensor uh, to power the lights. So the sensor has three LED lights in it that flash in a sequence, which is controlled by Adafruit Adalogger, which pull, that gets a signal from the uh, tether, which is a two conductor insulated 28 gauge wire. and that's powered by the a receiver that's in the plane, powered by a three cell lipo. Hi, I'm Ryan Fox. I was DBF 2021 team. Uh, I was CAD and payout mechanism specialist. What we used for the payout mechanism was a uh, arrow shaft with the uh, clearance fit over the top of it with another arrow shaft. It was very simple but effective design. The spring loaded the uh, sensor out of the aircraft up the, out of the back of it. It was also the spool was powered by an e-flight brushless motor, and we used a, a servo on the side of that, or a ratchet on the side to stop it from from reeling back in. And it was a very effective design, and it helped us get this uh, sensor back in the plane. Hi, my name is Will Sherman. I'm the aerodynamics lead for the team this year. And we first did our aerodynamics testing through CFD uh, to make sure that we had a uh, proficient coefficient of friction and our stable or our sensor design was stable. We then took this uh, to the real world and brought it to our high velocity laminar flow generator where we tested our small scale models and performed our validations testing.
Go for it. Come on. Thank you. 